Hello everybody, it's Walk Talk 21 back again with you for another edition of that show. Where we go through the years and we talk about history. You know what show I'm talking about, the MLB Time Capsule. Now before we start, I also want to say that I made a mistake in the last episode when I had said that um, Pennsylvania had back-to-back World Series champions of different leagues. That was a mistake because... Illinois had that first with the White Sox and then the Cubs, so I messed that up. Um, hope you all liked my previous video on a game review. Got more of those. Got some more what-ifs planned. But for now, we're going to go back to our regularly scheduled programming here. And some people have been asking me for a Super Bowl one, so eventually in the future, I'll start making a uh, Super Bowl history retrospective. But this episode is going to be on the 1912 World Series. That's right, folks. We are finally here. 1912. The moment you've all been waiting for in New York and Boston. And like I traditionally do. In on the right side. In the right corner. Representing the city of Boston, Massachusetts. Led by manager Jake Stahl. With a record of 105 and 47. Featuring... Hall of Famer, Tris Speaker, one of the greatest hitters in the early days of baseball. Now Boston Red Sox, yes, yeah, 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 oh wait, why am I cheering for them? I'm a Yankees fan, what am I doing? <laughs> and on the left side, led by manager John McGraw, again, because he's back, representing the city of New York, yes, the greatest city in the world, featuring... Hall of Famers, Rue Marquardt, and, oh, hey, Christy Madison, how you doing? I haven't seen you since one episode prior. What, what is this, like, like your third, like, World Series? Christy, wow, that's amazing. With a record of 103-48. and 48, The New York Giants, yeah! So, folks, 1912, William Howard Taft was president. World War I was coming up. And the Chicago Cubs are not World Series champions yet again. So for all you Cub fans, y'all suck right now. Ha! <laughs> all right, let's get into this. So this World Series finally was one of the greatest World Series ever played. At least I think there are no videos of this World Series. None exist because... They've all been wiped away. But from what I've read, this World Series was very, very good. And let's take a look here at my notes. So, this series featured great pitching from one of the greatest pitchers in the history of Major League Baseball, Christy Matthewson of the Giants. And Boston had this guy named Smokey Joe Wood. Now, Wood won two of his three starts and pitched in relief in his final game. And this was back in the day, mind you, when you could get away with throwing pitchers out there day after day after day. You know, nowadays in the MLB, you got to rest your pitchers. But back then, Smokey Joe Wood and Christy Mathewson, they could play for a long, long time before they got tired. Um, nearly all of the games were close. Four games were decided by one run. A fifth ended in a tie. A sixth was decided by two runs. And this was World Series that went eight games because they had a tie. And when you have a tie, you have to play the game again. And it was funny, in games one and three, the losing team had the tying and winning runs on base when the game ended. And this was one of four World Series to go eight games. And the only best of seven series to do so. And also, this set a record. One million fans! We did it! We got to one million fans! Yeah! Because Game 4 did it, so 1912 Game 4, if you people ever see it, give it a high five. Got 1 million fans there, we finally did it. And this World Series also set the attendance record, 252,037. Great job, guys. And the record was set until 1921, when 269,977 269, attended that World Series which we'll get to, featuring the Giants, and when Babe Ruth was playing. So, let's go here and see. So, the parks that we used were the Polo Grounds and Fenway Park. This is where both teams played. 
And like I said before, a lot of these games were very, very close games. These were two teams that were very evenly matched. You know, you could go into those games, you were not disappointed in the um, content that you saw. You know, this is one World Series in the early days. I will admit this, where the pitching dominated more than the hitting. This is probably one exception to that rule that I say. Because back then, you could get away with bad pitching as long as you had good hitting. This is one where Christy Mathewson tried his best against uh, Joe Wood. Mark Quad was fantastic. They were just shutting down the hitters. Like, you wouldn't believe they were throwing strike barrages. But, just like I said in the last couple episodes, and I didn't do this in the beginning, the Giants don't win this series. The Red Sox capture their second World Series. So, Cubs, you finally got a team that matched you. You, I hope you enjoyed your little... Uh, being the only team winning two World Series, because now you have company. That's right, folks. The Giants in their second time. Christy Mathewson once again comes up short in his bid to win a second World Series. He has won. He won back in 05. He doesn't win this one. And this was going to be the start of a Boston dynasty. You'll see as we go down here. They will win some more. And the Giants, once again, John McGraw, great manager. But they fall just short. Why? Because you keep throwing Christy Matthewson out there. Stop throwing him and Rube Marquardt out there and making them do all the work. Make them do other things. Where was the team against the Athletics? Who were putting runners out when they were on base? Uh, you know, that Chief Myers guy didn't look like he showed up. Maybe maybe he was off taking a nap. I don't know what he was doing, but he certainly didn't show up in this series. Um, like I had said before, you know, this was arguably one of the greatest World Series ever, just from what I've read, um, you know, and, and the notes that I have. Um, I want to read you a quote from the uh, Spalding's official baseball guide back in 13. It says, No individual, whether player, manager, owner, critic, or spectator who went through the World Series of 1912 We'll never forget it. There was never another like it. Years may elapse before there shall be a similar series, and it may be that the next to come will be equally sensational, perhaps more so. And that speaks volume to what the series was. If you were a Red Sox fan or you were a Giants fan, you were not disappointed in the quality of content of baseball you got. This was a World Series that I think if I was around for and if any of us were around for, we would be proud to go and, and let, let me read you here the scores to show you just how great that they were. Uh, game one, Red Sox won four to three. In the second game, they tied six six. So then in the makeup game, the Giants won two one. Game that would be game three, although it was game two because they tied. And then the next game, uh, the Red Sox win three one. And then game five, uh, Red Sox win two one. Uh, game six, the Giants win 5-2. Game seven, Giants blow out the Red Sox. And then uh, game eight, the Red Sox win in 10 innings. And all these games were completed under two hours because you could reasonably complete a game then. But, you know, it just speaks volume to these teams. I mean, these teams were equally stacked. They had such great players. Um, these These two teams, they didn't like each other. But the quality of baseball that they produced at the time was arguably the greatest thing you ever saw. And even if you weren't a fan of these two teams, you wanted to watch this series because this was fantastic. Um, again, there's no videos of it, but just from what I've read, it was phenomenal. It was great to see this, and this would really set the stage for later on when the Red Sox and the Yankees are brawling it out, but the Yankees are not good right now. Um... Anyway, as I said before, the Giants make the same mistakes that they did. When you, th I'm sorry, but when you throw Christy Matthews in out there and expect him to do all the work, you're not going to go anywhere. And you ever wonder why he never won another World Series? Because John McGraw maybe didn't understand that. Um, anyway, the the winning player share was four thousand twenty five dollars. Losing player share was two thousand five hundred sixty six dollars. The Red Sox scored less runs than the Giants, 25 to 31. They got less hits than the Giants, 60 to 74. And they committed less errors. But even then, the Red Sox still won, despite being less than the New York Giants. Um, this also was... 
This also was, um, this was just at numerous, uh, World Series, records, um, I was just reading stuff here, um, the Giants would lose again, but like I said though before, Fantastic World Series, if there's ever a video out of it, I would like to watch it, because this was an early one, and then all those people made the Hall of Fame, and they all lived happily ever after, so that's the end of that story, uh, but that was the 1912 World Series, and folks, the next time we talk, it'll be 1913. And let me tell you something, there's two people in this World Series that we've seen before. Okay, I, I know you people don't like the Giants, I, I know you're getting tired of seeing them, but you know what, they're back. Ha, they're back. So if you don't like seeing them, too bad, because they show up once again. But wait a minute, could this be like the Tigers? Is it possible that the Giants could lose three straight World Series? And I know what you're saying. Walk, talk, this video's gone on long enough. Just tell us who they were playing and let us all, you know, stop watching this. Well, they're playing the athletics? Again? Giants, this is your chance. You better beat Philadelphia this time. You, you better do it because Philadelphia might make you look bad. Please? Can, 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 you, can you beat Philadelphia Giants? You just have to wait and see. But anyway, too, if you've been keeping track before we go... Cubs have two, Red Sox have two, Giants have one, White Sox have one, Pirates have one, Athletics have one. And I, I think that's all. I'm trying to remember. Uh, it's late here, so I'm tired. But anyway, though, folks, be sure to subscribe to Walk Talk 21 for more great videos, more MLB time capsule. Eventually, I'll be making a Super Bowl time capsule, game reviews, other news, what have you. And I'll see you all around. Take care.